So um, I'd like to move the discussion now to something that's not on the agenda, but I did give you a heads up at the pre-council phone calls. Uh, NHGRI has four working groups of council, and one of the requirements of a working group is to give an annual report to the full council. In the past, we've done these as uh, presentations in the open session. Uh, in the, in the context of a virtual meeting, we're trying to uh, minimize the amount of uh, the length of these meetings to try to uh, preserve people. I can already see some pretty fatigued looks as I look at the, at the gallery view here. So what we've done for this particular round, uh, uh, data science and community engagement working groups were both due to present. And we chose to go the route of having them prepare a written report Valentina DiFrancesca doing the report for data science, and Christina Dalton and Carla Easter for the community engagement groups. <clears throat> Those reports were made available to you in the electronic council book, and we wanted to take a moment to see if anyone had any questions or comments about those reports. And that would include not only the content of the report, <clears throat> but if this is a suitable format, or if you wanted to make suggestions about how the report should look. So with that, I'll open the floor and take any questions or comments along with uh, Valentina and uh, Carla, if there are content questions. Steve Rich. Yeah, uh, I took a, a brief look at some of these, <clears throat> at these and you know, it's nice to know actually who's on the working group um, and also what they're talking about internally. I guess the thing that, um, you know, is, is missing for me, I mean, there are plans for the upcoming year, uh, for example, and the, uh, the genome, genomic data science working group report, uh, there's going to be um, additional people coming in, giving additional information. Uh, organizing a machine learning for genomics workshop, which I guess will be virtual. Um, specific things about how Anvil program can improve genome data sharing and analysis, training education, and so forth. I, the thing that's a bit missing is sort of timelines and when things will be expected to have uh, sort of deliverables provided. Uh, and I think as any of us who've been involved with working groups know that you know you can work and work and work and talk and talk and talk, but until you have a time a deadline, it's hard to produce anything that would be uh, for recommendations. So, I guess it'd be nice to have sort of a timeline for these things. Okay, appreciate that. Other questions. Does this written format seem to work? Do you, would you have a stronger preference for a, a presentation that might be more interactive? I, I actually liked having the presentation. I mean, I agree today we're all, you know, my watch is like telling me to stand up. You know, I mean, when you're, you're in a room, you can get up, you can walk out, you can walk in. It's a little more, we're sort of stuck in our chairs with this. Mm -hmm. But I do think having a report or, I mean, having a brief presentation or assigning a couple of council members as discussants of the report uh, and just asking them to highlight a few major things, sort of as Stephen nicely just did, I think would help make it uh, more dynamic. Okay, thank you for that. Trey, I see your hand is up. Sharon said it perfectly. I'll just second what Sharon said. Thanks. Okay. Well, it was an experiment. We took a stab at it and we've had your reactions. So we'll see what the future be brings in terms of whether we ever meet together in person uh, or continue in a, in a virtual mode. So I'm gonna move off this topic now because I don't see any other hands up. And um, I think we're close enough to the end that I'm just gonna propose we power through. We have council initiated discussion and then just a couple of administrative actions on my part. So are you are you all good to go? All right, I see at least a few nods. <clears throat>